All right, it is time to return to the radioactive anomaly at Tunney's Pasture. This time a little bit more prepared. We've got gloves, mask, little shovel, hammer. The wrench and screwdriver is for the camera. In case the camera assembly comes loose and needs disassembled. Got drone, drone controller, extra battery, wide angle lens, Ziploc bags, bus pass, and of course the all important Radio Code 101 gamma spectrometer with the resolution update. Exciting. Let's see what we can find today. Well, I have returned to the area and nothing has changed. The rock is still there. The thing that I thought was a brick, but looks more like a red rock to me. Now, and there's the little hole. Let's get a few rocks in it now that someone has put there. And you can hear my meters going off. So I've got more equipment this time. Let's see what we can find. All right, so first let's take a look at the rock. On my Just from this distance, we're already noticing it. Okay, it's not the hole in the ground, it's definitely the rock. The one side of the rock is a Spicer than the other side for sure. Right about there is a 900 or so. That's about 4.3 microsieverts per hour. Definitely not as high as the hole. Yeah, it looks like this corner right here is the spiciest part of the rock. Alright, let's see if this rock is gonna. You know, I don't think it'll fit in this bag. No, it definitely won't. This gray section of the rock that seems to be the the spiciest. Yes, I know. Double bag that up for testing later. What you doing? You don't mind my asking? This rock is slightly radioactive, so I'm taking a few samples of it to determine why. Is it the... Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Ozzy, touch. <laughs> touch. Touch. Is it the nuclear reactor? I mean, it looks like a natural rock. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but there's... That's why I'm here, because people told me about that. 
and I'm finding rather spicy natural rock, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. But it's way spicier than the other anomaly out in um, Canada. Okay. So, yeah, well, I mean, if it was that, you would think the radiation reading would get higher as you moved in that kind of direction. Yeah, and I've walked over there a little bit, and I haven't found much of anything. But I'm, this, I'm not worried, but there are a few people around that are a bit, uh, I don't want to call them paranoid, but... You know, concerned. 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 But uh, this one guy, one guy freaked out when I told him what that concrete bunker was. Yeah. He really quite, What do you mean they have a nuclear reactor? Yeah, it's somewhere. Uh, hey, have a good one. You too. All right, that should be enough of that rock. Now we're gonna have to explore the more interesting part. So this hole here. The bottom of this hole was a lot spicier than that rock. So, I'm going to put my phone inside a plastic bag too. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Uh, so there we're getting 1,000 counts per second. Now it's at 3,000 counts per second. A big earthworm here. So we're currently at... And I can't control the, with the foam with these gloves. Alright, we'll use this. 40 microsieverts per hour. 45 microsieverts per hour. The whole area of the hole is kind of radioactive. The interesting thing is it doesn't seem to be localized to any specific point. Just the whole area in here. So it's hard to say if it's one of the rocks or something below it. Oh, shut up. The rocks are big enough that they bend my shovel to try and pull against. Yeah, that one's loose. That's what you get for buying a dollar store shovel. Yeah, so there's nothing on that rock at all. What about the hole where the rock was? The same 30 to 40. 45 nanosieverts, 40, 35. Sorry, microsieverts, not nanosieverts. Seems to be more for the center of the hole than the edge. Fine to Oh wow, it hit up a hundred. That's the highest I've seen yet. 6,000 counts per second. And around a hundred uh, microsieverts per hour. There's something down there. One oh nine, one fifteen. It does seem to be located more this way than that way, underneath the big rock. The dirt itself is not radioactive, which is a good sign that it's not just some liquid contamination. So far, nothing I've pulled out of the hole is radioactive. Oh, hey, okay, there's the rock. The rock is not radioactive. Nothing in my pile of dirt is radioactive. 140 microsieverts per hour. 
It does really look like thorium. So why there'd be a, a dump of thorium rocks here, I don't know. Oh, we got a piece of the radioactive rock. So there's a rock under there. That looks like it's very radio... well... A lot more radioactive than average. And it's partially broken apart. Moving around. There's a piece of it there. There we go. That's a radioactive rock. Now, let's see. The hole is still a little bit radioactive, but nothing compared to this rock. The heck is this rock? Two hundred and forty, two hundred and fifty, two hundred and sixty. That's hitting close to ten thousand counts per second in some areas on it. Averaging around seven thousand. It's the same as this rock. But not uh, much stronger. I'm gonna let it exact count for a minute and see what it finds. It's a fairly small rock. Brick red with gray sectors. Holy. That's pretty. 300 microfibers per hour. That's about as high as I think I'm going to find. Now, let's bring the camera in for some high resolution. Because this, the coloring on this rock is beautiful. If I make a sandwich, I can get close to 300. Oh yeah, 320 for a second there. We're losing the light. Well, I solved the mystery of the radioactive anomaly at Tony's Pasture. It's not a nuclear reactor, it's some thorium rocks, which are all over the place. These aren't the only ones, they're just ones that I found and dug up. So, that's interesting. I wonder why they're here, because I don't think they were put here naturally. I'm going to have to check the geo Ottawa site. I'm almost certain they aren't here naturally. I'll have to double check that. Don't quote me for sure on that, but we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and be sure to uh, take a look at some of the other videos on this. The first video that I shot, I uh, wasn't really sure what I'd found. I thought I'd found a brick, 
because uh, I didn't dig it up very much. The second video I shot, which I didn't publish, you will be able to see it in the link here, is where I called people to try and figure out what to do. Obviously, that didn't... nobody cared. I guess it's not big enough of a deal. I don't know. Whatever. And now I found the rocks. I'm going to fill in the hole and head home.